This is a YouTube newsreel. Stateline, Los Angeles, June 8th, the year 2111. The Electronic Entertainment Expo, also known as E3, comes to town. Nerds, geeks, dweebs, and spazzes of all shapes and sizes descend onto the LA Convention Center for their annual meeting to promote the latest in video games and to interact with women. Programmers refer to it as Pon Far. And now, here's a demonstration of a new type of remote-controlled hovercraft toy. Something young and old can enjoy on the beach or in the backyard. Watch as it traverses the arena on a cushion of air. Now watch as it does a flip. Whoa! Barely visible. Thank you, Mr. Cameraman. Yes, guaranteed to provide minutes of fun. Now here's E3's legendary Hall of Seizures designed to freak out any VIP on LSD. And you'll see the hallway leads to Sonic and Mario's Magical London Castle, where in 2012 they'll make sweet love. This is the display for EA Sports. Electronic Arts is displaying its new soccer game, Soccer. America's 14th most popular professional sport. Look at this stunning display of stunning displays. Yes, if you've ever dreamed of having the ability to kick a ball around a field, well, now's your chance to live the dream through EA Sports. And what video game convention would not be complete without Japanese noise pop? But it wasn't all Asian rock and roll and soccer at this year's E3 represented also the three most popular subjects to today's youth. Star Wars, Jimmy Buffett, and shooting the living shit out of things. We also saw the debut of two new systems. This one is a handheld that plays Super Nintendo cartridges. And the PlayStation 4. That's it for the coverage of this year's E3. Please enjoy a series of pictures by our photographic staff while I sing the E3 theme song. E3, E3, it's hot chicks, some in red wigs. There's a dude in a red wig and Batman in bondage. A dude dressed like Pac-Man and Lord of the Rings. It's E3, E3.